Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today to begin hearing about WeU. Believe it or not, there was a time where you popped in a game and you just played it. <laughs> Funny concept, right? Nowadays, with all the technology we have and all the connections we have with our smartphones, computers, tablets, it's hard to think that there was once a time where we didn't have much of that, especially in the 90s. Maybe you had a computer, can sneak on it, go on message boards and stuff like that. But more often than not, it was just you and the game console. And once you were done playing, once you saved the princess, finished a race, or beat up the bad guy, there wasn't much left else to do. It's the middle of the night, when you should be sleeping. You're poking around the menus and trying to find other things to do, and unfortunately there isn't anything. It's just you and the game at 3 a.m. in the morning. In the 2012 Nintendo Direct, where Mr. Iwata showed off the Wii U, he also showed off something else. A networking system. They showed off how games can have functionality where you can communicate with players around the world and ask for help or post pictures or whatever. And even with what they showed off in the Nintendo Direct, I don't think they anticipated it to end up the way it did. Games like Splatoon would use Miiverse posts by the players to appear above their heads in the plaza or as graffiti on the walls in the plaza or even in the battle arenas. Mario and Donkey Kong, Pushmo, and other games use Miiverse to promote user levels and to share them and you can actually jump right into the game from Miiverse. And most famously, people have used Miiverse to show off works of art that some of which are quite astounding, others of which are a little less, but in a, communities like Art Academy and even just miscellaneous ones strewn about, there's a lot of detailed and extravagant art to see. The internet's perspective of Miiverse is just dumb memes and stupid pictures, which isn't entirely untrue, but Miiverse was also a lot more than just that. Aside from the big games that benefited from Miiverse, it was nice to see that even while playing a smaller game, whether it's a cheap eShop game or a cheap game you got at GameStop, that even going on Miiverse, you would see a post within a day, maybe even less than that, of someone else playing the game. And it just that sense of connection that at that within that moment within those few hours or could be even minutes that someone else is playing the same game as you and you don't get that kind of thing from twitter or facebook how you're lucky if you do go on twitter and you search up a hashtag of whatever game you're playing and finding someone else playing it not to mention on meverse there's a verification check to see if you even own the game so you can't just be some nitwit online just trolling about a game saying it sucks or it's lousy and more often than not on Miiverse if someone was posting about a game they usually liked it. This one's more of a personal one but I actually liked seeing kids playing these games and making posts about it because in the end isn't that what it really is all about? Well some of them look like kids you can never be too sure really. And I think a lot of that plays into why Miiverse didn't take off like regular social media or amongst adults. Because aside from the troll posts or the meme pictures or all that stuff, in the end, Miiverse was people who enjoyed playing games. For a lot of people, it wasn't about getting the most likes or becoming famous. A lot of times people were just posting stuff they found cool or they found amusing. And just because you were big on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or something that didn't guarantee you being big on Miiverse. But maybe it's those reasons as to why Miiverse wasn't that popular among certain groups of people. 
As this video comes to a close, I'm not going to pretend that Miiverse was all good and no bad, but it certainly wasn't as bad as people made it out to be. Like many of the innovative ideas of Nintendo, such as Nintendo Power or the tapes they used to send out, Miiverse gained its own audience and its own fan base. It might not be as impactful as the Wii era, but I think it's not as insignificant as people make it out to be now. To sum it up simply for me, I loved all of it. The dumb jokes, the heartwarming posts, the Christmas posts of people getting a brand new game. It was all great to read, and in some way I am going to miss it. But more so, I'm happy for Nintendo and for Mr. Iwata that their experiment in connecting players around the world succeeded. Video game experiences you've never had before. Thanks again.